All right, here we go. Big Danny Shan, day 1021. 1021 at the park. So, uh, if I look a little weird today, it's because I slept for four hours. And one of the reasons why is because uh, Dodgers blew that lead and they had <coughs> the craziest last play in the history of, well, probably sports. But, you know, they should have known better putting Kenley Jansen in there and you know, stuff. But anyways, that's that. But the thing is, it's like, you know when you're about to win a game, you're about to win a World Series, you get, um, you lose your patience because it's like Dodgers, it's 2020, right? And they didn't win a World Series since 1988. So people, they're getting pretty impatient. And then, so when you have things out of control, something... Some things uh, go right, some things go wrong, right? And apparently in that situation, something went wrong. So, that's that. But I'm not really that frustrated about that. I mean, that's that's just segue into, like, what I'm talking about today. So, you guys know that I take an insane amount of video, okay? And I have, well, I guess most of my videos, ever since I started doing um, the YouTube stuff, since 2015. So, what I do is, like, you know, my phone fills up, and then I put it on my computer, save it on an external hard drive, and, you know, have it all organized. Well, somewhat organized, but, you know, from time to time, when I have time, I just put it in categories, you know, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 19, right? So, as phones get better, you get more and more space. So, it's like, you know, I remember when I had like a, probably like a, you know, 16 gigabyte phone, and then you get a memory card that's 16 gigs. Actually, I, th I think it was always 32 and 32. So 64 gigabytes, and then so you know you fill up. It takes a long time before you hit a terabyte. Okay, but what happens is now my phone is 200. Was it 256? 256 gigabytes, and my memory card is 256 gigabytes. So that means my camera is taking it higher, higher resolution, right? Which means more space. And then so yesterday, I actually filled it to capacity. I was procrastinating and procrastinating and procrastinating. So I never updated this phone since uh, I, I got it. And then so it was like in the early stages of the pandemic, I had to change my internet and then went to Spectrum, phone, all that kind of stuff, right? So I figure, okay, that's a pretty good deal. I don't have to upgrade my phone for six months, taking video every day. Right? And so, yeah, you know, normal people would be like, you know what, all these videos, I mean, you know, you put it on YouTube, why do you need it twice? I get it. I get it. But yeah, it shows you how much of a storage pack rat I am. Thinking, oh, you know, I don't, I don't know what I use it for someday. <clears throat> so, anyways, I just, I just think, you know, it's pretty cool having all your stuff stored up, like your archives. Your, your your library of Congress, library of Shin, right? So, whatever. Anyways, so when I do my old phones and use the same software but for my older computers, I would be able to back it up. And then if I have a lot of stuff, so I need just needed to back up stuff so I could clear up stuff so I could do this today. And I know doing backing up six ter six gigabytes. Six terabytes. No. It was one terabyte, sorry. So doing that for one terabyte, it would it would uh, take a long time. So that's why I would... Uh... Okay, I hook up my phone. I press start backup. And then before, you'd see on the, you know, your C drive, 
you see the thing just pop up and then it starts saving and you look through the foils like external you know dcim and then so you know you click on it and you see each of the files just saved your computer so beforehand you know i mean what you're supposed to do is just set it and forget it right i should have done that but i didn't what i was doing was while it was going i was following along and i was deleting those pictures on my phone and the, and the um and the things and then so or the videos so and i empty the trash and then so my phone space was clearing so i knew that i could just probably just pause it or cancel and then you know i could have a lot of space on my phone oh and by the way as of right now i have a lot of space on my phone um but i was at 95 percent and then i clicked stop hold on let me preface something I did back up June till now, okay? But the whole pandemic, the March to June, it's like all the Harold the Handyman building the house and stuff. And then, you know, those pre-walks when I used to walk without a mask and then just getting used to it. Oh, yeah, those are all gone. But anyways, 95%. So it's 95% done. I'm like, you know, I'll just finish the rest tomorrow. So what I do... Hit that cancel button, unplug my phone, that folder disappears. And I was going, oh my gosh. You know, realizing I made a huge mistake because I tried going in and then, you know, start the sync again. I thought it was going to continue from where it was. But no, it started brand new from the other 5% that's left over. So I was going, shoot. So, you know, I'm looking at the internet different ways on like the SD, you know, credit, you know, video repair or video recovery softwares. And I'm trying different one. I'm, I'm talking with Samsung. This three in the morning. So Samsung on the chat, you know, hey, I mean, actually, okay. I did do a data recovery once on my drive. I just need to know what, what software I used. Cause this was ages ago, but then someone from Samsung helped me. So I go, hey, look, I'm using the Samsung software, Samsung phone, and a Samsung SD card. <clears throat> I did this. There should be a way that I could actually retrace this. Otherwise, your software sucks. It's horrible. And it shouldn't do that because it didn't do that. You guys had to update that and fix whatever problem it was. And then so... The guy said, nope, can't help you. I'm like, this sucks. I didn't say that. I thought it. But I go, there has to be a way. There has to be a way. And then he says, oh, do you use iCloud? No, I don't do iCloud. You know? It's it's funny. Like with a Google Drive, it turns out they have a limit. I pushed that limit a long time ago, right? I mean, each of my videos, these videos are like, you know, one gigabyte. So if I go a thousand days, that's a thousand gigabytes. That's a terabyte right there. I think you have a limit of like five gigabytes or something. It's like five videos or something stupid. So anyways, the guy's all, oh, yeah, you know, you can't do much about it. I'm like, so he says, yeah, you know, maybe we could do this do this try getting it to the software okay so i'm he's still on my chat not responding to me but i'm doing this and i give up about six o'clock right i go to sleep i didn't turn off my computer it's still on just in case like if you turn it off you lose these files and i wake up today about 11 10 10 30 so now you could do the math. I only had like four and a half hours sleep, so I'm super tired. But I go on the computer and then I tie it. Hey, it didn't work. The guy still has a chat open screen. And then he responds immediately. So now I'm pissed because that dude left me hanging for four and a half hours. 
Because, you know, usually, usually, like, you know, when something like this happens, then they'll, like, hang up on you. Oh, chat ended. Are you there? Are you there? So they could work with somebody else. This dude stayed on with me the whole time and then saying, like, oh, other chat screens come up. It's like, no, nah, I don't think so. Because I am master customer service, dude. And I know that when they're not responsive, you're supposed to check on them, right? Hey, are you still there? Whatever, right? No. And if they're not, then, all right, thank you for the thing. We're recording this, this, this chat, and, okay, uh, we'll email you a copy. You know? Guy didn't do it. So this dude was probably the laziest dude in the history of ever. Seriously. So I'm like, ah, oh, shoot. So now I'm ultra pissed in the morning. I'm ready to go. I was, I was so pissed. I was going to go an hour on that machine. Seriously, an hour on the machine. But no. <laughs> I, after I thought about it, I'm like, okay. I'm going to do it when I come back from the uh, walk. You know? Because, uh, yeah, I, I was supposed to go to eat Prime Ever yesterday. But we didn't. We ended up going to Disneyland. And then uh, today... Yeah, we're going to Prime Rib, like at 4, 4.15, right? So I have to build up an appetite, so I'm starving right now, okay? I'm starving. And then I'm going to go out the machine and just just work up a really big appetite. And, uh, yeah, I mean, even though I'm hungry right now, it's like, you know, like noon, close to noon, I don't want to eat because I had to break that habit on being impatient. I just got to be patient on, okay, I'm going to eat today at 415 and I'm going to eat a lot. I'm going to eat a ton of calories today because I am going to go get the prime rib. That's not bad. You know, the prime rib and like, you know, well, I'm going to cream spinach, cream corn and probably a Coke. You know why? Because it's Tamil Shanter. So I want to save my calories for that meal but I want to burn my stuff also. But thing is, I don't want to eat other calories during lunchtime and then add more. That's why I got to be patient. Okay? And then so maybe I'll do the mouthwash thing. Who knows? Whatever. Okay? But I know that I'm breaking my habits of like like any other day. Well, like before. It's like, you know, it's oh, you know, maybe I'll just go good. Get an In-N-Out burger. You know? And then I'll eat again later. Right? Oh, maybe I'll just... Uh, you know, just find some random thing that just sounds good to eat. But no, changing my habits on that way. And then, uh, uh, so the whole thing is this. You know, with, with the whole, everything would have been good if I was patient. Whether the Dodgers are taking their time and then they wouldn't have those two throwing errors, right? Then they'd be up three to one. Okay, but no, they're rushing things. For me, I should have waited all night and then not rush my stuff. And uh, I wouldn't have lost three months of my life on video. So, okay, granted, I shouldn't have that attachment like, you know, like the people who are hoarders. People hoarder stuff, I hoarder videos and stuff so if you see like my apartment it's pretty gnarly so i gotta get rid of them i, I, I just can't do it okay and then um going to like being patient about eating and dieting you know like you know when people go oh, i want to lose weight so what do they do they go buy a 1100 dollars machine without thinking about it actually i rushed that thing too and I actually bought and I had it in my house, in my apartment, that uh, that bike that didn't work too well. And then I kept trying to rush and just, just looking at other bikes. And then, um, you know, I saw other different bikes. But then it got to the point where uh, it's waiting and I had to travel all this distance. And then I got the perfect machine because I was forced patience, right? So it worked out, but thing is, if I was impatient, I'd be stuck with this bike and not getting as much, uh, um, not getting as much exercise. Okay, 
and then also rushing stuff for the school you know being impatient it's like you know what yeah i know the whole destiny is in my hands of how successful this could be you know and then i'm thinking i'm gonna work as hard as i did in the summer like 20 hour days but then my boss shut me down and said hey don't do it you can't do it all in a day you gotta be patient so what happens is when I'm impatient, then my mind gets confused a little, just like anybody does. And it, it uh, uh, you know, bad things can happen, okay? But now, you don't want to just take your time for the sake of taking time and like, oh, I don't want to be stress-free, because otherwise you'd never get anything done. There is a balance on it, but when you have... A certain type of mentality of just uh, conquering the world, getting stuff done, go-getter attitude. If you go too much go-getter, then there's a chance that Ur is going to get you. And uh, it's going to, it's going to, um, you know, you're going to lose three months of your memories. You're going to lose the World Series. You're going to lose... What was the other one? Yeah, you, you, you basically... I forgot the other story I told. Okay, but anyways. Main thing is... Oh, the exercise stuff. Oh, and eating. Yeah. You lose your appetite. You get fatter. You know? So all this stuff is patience. So some people say, hey, look. You've been going 1,021 days. You know? I am patient. Things are working somewhat you know actually yesterday um jill wanted to go eat after downtown disney and see i could have ate like something really heavy or whatever but no i didn't we went to in and out got the burger and the diet coke on the other one and then so uh, yeah i felt i felt pretty good because i and then we walked around a lot so i had my exercise and you know regular you know, the, ex the machine, walking around the park, and going to the park. Downtown Disney, not Disneyland, but we're, we're actually there, okay? So, so we had all those combined. And so, you know what? I could eat it in that burger. But on days when I don't do anything, then yeah, I don't deserve that kind of stuff. I mean, technically, I never deserve that kind of stuff. It's like, you know what? You eat what just eat to live, eat to live. But today, Jill's officially uh, taking me out to dinner for my birthday. Even though we went to Korean barbecue with Georgia and Jonathan, but this one, it's a, uh, uh, yeah. She goes, I'm going to take you favorite prime rib. Okay. Problem. It's starting to sprinkle right now. It's 12 o'clock. Only outdoor seating in LA. We'll figure it out. That's crazy. This is the first time in a long time that the pool is like empty. Like for the longest time. I mean, you know, when I first started coming here, it's like you see like maybe some some lifeguard people. And they're getting ready for the pool. But then lately, it's always packed. All age, all age people. <coughs> but I guess if it's starting to rain, people don't want to come out. I don't know how to platform in the middle right there. You guys name this park right here? The pool up there. Diving board over there. But yeah, I really enjoy this place just seeing on the on the regular days. I guess maybe because it's Sunday. But yeah. When you feel like you have all the time in the world. All the time in the world. The next thing you know, I go home. It's like, oh shoot. It's almost four o'clock. I have to get ready, shower, get dressed, drive an hour to dinner. Actually I think it's like thirty minutes on a on a on a on a weekend. We'll see. You know, now that I think about it, 
I don't think there's anything that that could go well on being impatient, right? Some people would say like, oh yeah, you know, maybe uh, you know you could learn to think quickly or some something. I don't know, but you know, so they they say patience is a virtue, right? And here's a cold blooded part about it. Okay, well, first of all. Let me talk about, you know, patience. I mean, everything. You want to be cool under pressure, that kind of stuff. That patience. But, you know, when they say patience is a virtue, okay? First of all, I have to ask, what's a virtue? I'm 50 years old. I heard that word. I always thought it's like, oh, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's their morals. I never looked up that word and find out what a virtue is. Maybe a truth in life? Did you ever think about that? It's like, hey, what's a virtue? You know what it is, but you can't describe it. You're like, ah, you know, it's that thing. It's that thing that, you know, good, bad thing, thing. Well, anyways, <laughs> characteristic? Good characteristic? I don't know. Someone help me out. But anyways, patience is something that we all need. And I'm realizing that I got to keep my patience in check. Not like how a doctor does it, but patience says in like being calm, assess the situation, and go for it. All right, there you go. Day 1021 in the books. So, yeah. To get to this one, patience. You know, like if someone decides to go, you know what? I'm inspired by shin and i'm gonna do my own streak let's start with day one right it's like oh how do you get to 1021 patience i can't just start my next video 2048 right so that's why it's like okay you know gotta realize the slow and steady but uh you know get out of my try to get rich quick do things quick, you know, that kind of stuff. All happens over time. It took me 17 years to get my dream teaching job. Actually, 18 years. Right? This is my actually 19th year. So, you know, some people get lucky like that. Uh, I was reading some dude in that movie, Troy. He, like, was in Hollywood for, like, a month, and then he got a he got a gig at, at uh, you know, the movie Troy with, like, Brad Pitt and all that. I'm like, oh, my gosh. But that's not for everybody, you know. A lot of us, we got to just be patient. And uh, impatience, it's going to ruin us. So that's why. Let's take our time. One day I'm going to get on that, that... That zip line thing over there. So there's a bunch of kids and a parent over there, and every day I'm waiting to, to just get on that thing. But I'm not patient enough to wait here for like 30 minutes. I don't want to ride on this thing with a bunch of kids. Hey, the dude's gonna break the thing. So I don't know if you could hear the kids go. Okay, but anyway, so yes. Big Daddy Shen Day, 1,021. If I could exercise 1,021 days in a row, you could exercise 1,021 days in a row. Because if I could do it, you could do it. And I'm doing it. Uh, learning patience.